Hello everybody, welcome, my name is Maisie if you're new here and today I'm so excited because as you can see I have finally got an Ikea Millsbow cabinet. I have been waiting for this moment for so long. Um, I've been wanting one pretty much since it started to become a thing, like a popular trend, you know, the plant cabinets. And um, I finally got one actually back in December last year, so I've had this nearly like six months now but um we finally put it together a month ago maybe and um now that i've got all the extra and added products is that the right word products you know what i mean we can finally start to put this together i'm gonna put the plants in there today i'm literally so excited i've been waiting for this for so long so obviously i'm gonna make a video of it because this has been my dream <laughs> So okay, let me just chill for a minute. Obviously, I've got the white one. That was stupid, I don't know why I said that. So, I've got pretty much everything in here already. I've got the two shelves. I am going to rearrange them because they're not really in the right place. I've got a plan in mind of how I want this. Um, if I can find any pictures, I'll put it on the, the screen. It's kind of hard to show because I've got like a bunch of different pictures, a bunch of like inspirations in my head, and I've just kind of Put different things together if that makes sense. I've watched so many videos on this and seen so many pictures I don't know what's my own idea and what's everyone else's if you know what I mean. So um, my plan is to also by the way I have got a a pegboard um, because I know I'm kind of late to the Ikea cabinet thing but I'm obviously gonna try the pegboard because that's I don't know. <laughs> Obviously it is wood, so you do need to be careful of like rotting because of the high humidity. I'm just gonna see how it goes. The pegboard is literally, I've <sighs> got this dream in my head and I have to do it, okay? I mean, it would take a long, long time for the pegboard to start rotting. So, it should be fine. So basically I'm just gonna have the two shelves. I'm gonna have one up here and have just a few baby plants at the top. And then um, I'll have my pegboard in the middle here. And then at the bottom I'll have my taller moss pole kind of plants there. Um, so I've got all my grow lights. The hole is drilled at the bottom as well, which I will show you. So I actually thought that you had to do this part, you know, before you build the cabinet. I did watch a video and one girl had to like take it all apart again just to do the hole because she couldn't do like the bottom layer or something but anyway we managed to do it fine and um i have just got the one i think that should be enough um i'll put a little picture on the screen of the little hole driller that was used um you can get them pretty cheap on ebay i'm sure you can get them on amazon as well um, what i am going to do i'm going to just go over that and maybe put some like nail varnish on it just to protect it and um have like a little film on it just to obviously protect it from like rust. So I'll probably use like white nail varnish or clear nail varnish. I'll probably do that a little bit later. Okay, so I'll quickly just go over the extra little products that I've got for this cabinet. Um, obviously I've got the two fans. These are just the, the desk ones that you can get. They are very similar. I've had this one ages now, but I don't know where I got this one from. And then I just bought this one from Etsy. Um, so they should work fine. They're not waterproof. So I'm gonna see how I get on with that. If I find that I need to buy a waterproof one, then I can always do that. But I think these will be fine, at least for now. And then I have also got the the lights. So I got these from. Okay, let's just get on this. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I got these from Amazon. So they come just separate lights like this. Everything is included. What you need. Um, I will link everything that I've used in the description box, by the way. Um, and then you've got the cable and you just plug it in at the side. So you can either have like a one foot grow light or if you want a two foot, which obviously I do, you can attach it. It comes with these little um, adapters, these little attach attachment things. And then you've got one grow light. These are really bright. I think they're going to be perfect. Um, and you've got no timer as well. So if you wanted, you could get like a smart plug which I am gonna get eventually. So I can just control it from my phone and they can just come on whenever I need them to come on. And they have got tiny little switches just here on each of the strips. So yeah, I've got three of them, one for each level. 
And I also brought a bunch of, um, what are these called? Come on, don't fail me now. What is these called? You know what these are called? That's them. I literally can't think of what these are called, but these are like the heavy duty uh, strips, sticky strip things. You know what I mean? Okay, so what I think I'm going to do first is I'm just going to um, replace my shelves where I want them to be. Also, the grow lights do actually come with a bunch of zip ties. So if you wanted to attach your grow lights that way, or they do come with a few of the sticky strips themselves. I literally can't think of what these are called. Please, what are these called? Someone. So I'm just going to clear off the shelves. Oh my gosh. Okay. 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 Um. So I'll just move you closer. You can kind of see what's going on inside. Um. So obviously inside you've got these little um shelf hooks kind of things that you just screw on each each corner of it. So basically you need to just unscrew these and move them up one. Okay. So I'm just using one of these screwdrivers i don't know what this this kind of screwdriver is but hey i'm using it i'm just gonna unscrew okay there you go Okay, these big ones are for the corners. All right, then you've got these smaller ones for the uh, the middle. Let's try this again. Okay, the top level is done. I'll do this side. Move this upward. Oh, wrong way. Is that time? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Last one. this again oh my gosh um okay how did i do this before oh my gosh how the heck okay yes <gasps> okay i really hope that's not too close to the grow light um but I can always change it if my plants start to burn to death. Alright, I'm trying to figure out where the next shelf needs to be. 
they are currently here. I'm pretty sure they need to go down one if that is to fit. So this is going to be on my second. This is going to be here. Right, so that needs to just go down one. Okay, what the heck? Hello? Where's my screwdriver? Oh my gosh, where did I chuck it? I found it. Sorry. Right, I'm just going to continue unscrewing all these and I'll be back when I'm done. <laughs> Yay! Two shells are in. Um, okay, so we've got prop box out. Okay, now we can get on to the exciting part and start starting on the pegboard. So basically, it's going to go here. I honestly don't know how this is going to look at the end, if it's going to look weird. But, um, does that look weird? No, it looks fine, right? I don't know. I can always change it after. I'm literally just experimenting. Oh my gosh, these are dusty already. Anyway, I'm just experimenting. Um, this is clearly my first time. I'm so excited. So, um, I have got all the extra containers, trays, etc., for the pegboard. So I'm just gonna go get them. Okay, obviously I went the whole hog and brought everything there is to get. These, look, oh my gosh, it's all dusty. <laughs> These containers, um, I've got the trays and, and then the other little kind of propagation. Oh my gosh, yeah, you get the idea, propagation tubs. And also the little pegs to hang up any little extra plants. To be honest, I thought that hanging up the pegboard was going to be the hardest bit, but after watching numerous videos, I realised it's actually very simple. Literally, you just screw it in to the little holes at the back of the cabinet. So, you just need these, which come with the pegboard. These are all the screws and extra thingy bobs that come with the pegboard. And literally, all you need is one, maybe two of these. Right, so I'm just going to figure out where I want this exactly. Um, okay. Is that in the middle? Yeah. I want it slightly off the bottom, lifting up. So, oh, okay. And then the hole shows through. Oh my gosh. So all you've got to do is literally just screw it in. Um, oh, is that safe? <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna probably get another one because it's twisting as you can see. I'm just gonna put one near the bottom. And that's literally all I have to do. Oh my gosh, it's finally coming together. Eventually I would like to get the like the wire grid shelves and replace them. Um, obviously it just helps with like airflow and you don't really need as many fans. Um, but I, I'm really struggling to find some like that's that will fit the size and um, that's cheap enough. So I will keep looking, but for now I am just gonna make do with the glass and the the fans, I was going to say the shelves, the fans should work just fine. Okay, next we're doing the grow lights. Okay, so this is for the top one. I have had to get an extension lead because it just doesn't quite fit. 
Uh, so I just need to take off the shelves so I can feed the wire, the wire, the lead through. Okay, that is what I'm gonna do. You may watch and listen to some relaxing music. Okay, um, so the, uh, what are they called, strip, I still don't know what they're called. The sticky strips that I brought, um, doesn't quite fit, you can just see them behind, which obviously is not a very nice sight, so I am going to have to chop them off, which is a little bit of a waste, um, but I would have used the ones that they provided in the in the grow lights setup box but they just look so i don't know <laughs> they don't these aren't heavy really at all but technically i really could have used these mm, i don't know i just didn't really trust these and i wanted to use these because these are like much but oh well i've done it now so maybe i'll use them for the next grow lights then anyway i am just gonna chop off the excess Mm. Oh, this is going to be a little hard to cut into. Maybe I can take them off. Okay. Oh, right. <laughs> Hopefully I can maybe reuse these. Alrighty then. And I am going to use the others. There. Good as new. the first the first light is done it's got all the sticky strips sticky strap sticky double-sided sticky strips 
Maybe it's that. I don't know. Oh my gosh, why can't I think of what these are called? Anyway, <laughs> they're definitely not perfect. This one is definitely not straight, but oh well, you know what? I can't even see them from. Uh, no, I can't even see them from this way, so. Okay, so the first light is done. Um, I might as well do the other two while I'm here, so let's just speed through that. days yes I'm in the same clothes but anyway I didn't get to finish my cabinet unfortunately but I'm back today and I'm gonna be finishing it so um what have I got left to do oh my god okay the lights are all done I just have to stick them on so let's do that now okay right um oh my gosh I'm nervous I don't know why okay yeah as you can see the lights are all on. Okay. Um, here, maybe? Okay, yeah. Let's just go for it. What's it doing? Right. Okay. I need to open the windows. Oh no! No 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 no! Should it be more at the back, or should it just be like here? Um, just go for it. Three, two, one. Okay. Yeah. So the only thing I don't like is the lead is right here in the middle of the glass and I really don't like that so um I think I'm gonna have to like tie it like in the corner like that I know I'll use these sticky pads to stick it that's what I'll do I'm gonna put the shelf back in <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is not good. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's stuck. Mm. Oh no. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna end up breaking this. Come on! Oh no, <laughs> no, it's stuck! Oh! My finger! Oh my days! <whistles> that was so close. <sighs> right. I don't know if that's gonna work. Okay. That is not gonna hold. Um, okay. It's fine, it's fine. Let's just try it. Let's just try it. I 
can't do this. Um, I'll be back when I fix this. Okay, I did it. <laughs> I did it. The w uh, that looks seriously weird. I really don't like. You can see the wire just there, and I really don't like that. But hopefully my plants will cover that. Um, not much I can do about it, unfortunately. Let's just put in the other light. Right, okay, that one is done. Let's stick it. Oh my gosh. Okay, I did it. <laughs> Okay, and then the final shelf, let's just, oh gosh, um, right, <laughs> okay, okay, yes, beautiful, oh my gosh, it's really coming together, okay, oh goodness, that is even worse, I hate those leaves, oh god, I hate that, <sighs> one second, I think I can fix this. Oh, okay. I might be careful. Okay, that looks even worse with the lead going like that. <sighs> There's literally not much I can do about that. Hopefully some plants will cover that. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's just move on to the, the third final uh, light. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I ran out of these sticky strips that the grow lights actually came with so I ended up having to actually use the ones that I brought in the end I just had to cut them so yeah they definitely look a little bit messier but that is literally all I had to use so oh goodness I really hope these work all right okay okay this is the third and final one. Oh, okay okay let me just move down so you can see There we go. <laughs> I like it. Um, I'm just really unhappy with the cords and the wires. Okay, but maybe once the plants are in, it'll be fine. I'm gonna have one. Oh, I'm gonna have one here. Ah, I forgot to take the shelves out again. And then I'm gonna have one at the bottom. I forgot to put nail varnish on that hole at the bottom. This is not going well, is it? That kind of hides that ugly mess. Uh, yeah. Let's take out the shelf again. So I can feed the, the wire through. Oh my god. Oh, no, I need to shut the wire. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so stressful. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that is literally the ugliest thing. Let me just see if we can fix some, do something with this. Right. Uh. Okay. Oh, I know. Zip ties. Okay, I'm just going to zip tie the cords all together. Just to. Okay, where is, I need another one, a bit more. There! That's much better. I just need to chop those off. Okay, I'm just zip tying these two together. This is probably the weirdest hectic plant cabinet video that you've ever seen but that's how we do it around here 
it's really not I just uh... right now let's move on to the pegboard and we can start putting the palms in oh my gosh I'm literally so excited hold on actually I'm just going to double check that all these lights and fans actually work <sighs> let's just plug everything in Ooh, the fan is on oh my gosh that's really nice <laughs> That makes the most noise. Can you hear that? That is literally the noisiest thing. Oh my gosh. That's awful. <laughs> There's not enough sockets in the extension lead. I need one more. <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh, that's so annoying. Right, okay, here is what's going on. The lights are in, the fans are in. I switched these two fans because this one was just ridiculously loud up there. So it's a little bit more quieter down there. Um, so, uh, yeah, to do with the cables, oh my gosh, it looks so messy underneath there. Anyway, I'll sort that out. Um, but as you can see, I haven't got enough, enough, <laughs> enough plugs. I literally need one more socket, which is really annoying. So I'm probably going to order that um, that smart plug that I was saying about earlier. I might order that tonight. And um, then all three grow lights will work. It's just that top one, which isn't able to be plugged in at the moment. So I'll have to sort that a bit later. But anyway, I'll have to make do with this. Okay, so the fans are working. I'm just going to make sure that let's just make sure that the lights work oh okay one second okay the top one does work which one isn't plugged in there that's weird uh oh it's this one or oh, yeah it's the second one that isn't plugged in oh that's really annoying okay that's fine yes oh my gosh i did these this one backwards you're kidding me am i able to take this off you can't even see like, it doesn't even show on camera but that is like really bright <laughs> i'll just turn those off so basically i'm just gonna kind of play with it and figure out where i want all these extra little containers on the pegboard careful because obviously because it's so tight to the back of the cabinet like there's not much there's not really a gap behind uh, between the glass and the board so it's a little bit tricky trying to get these through the pegboard holes you know there's not really enough uh, space um oh my gosh Um, okay, are you okay? Yeah, okay. I have no idea what just happened. I'm so sorry about that. Oh. Okay, so yeah, it might be a better idea to screw the second screw in after you've um, figured out where you want all these and put them in place. 
So I've unscrewed the second pegboard screw and I'm just gonna place all these first and then screw it back in. that that looks that looks fine i think i'm happy with that okay it might be it's a little bit simple i know but um i probably will change it eventually but this is just kind of for now um i will continue to think of ideas but i'm happy with this as a starter um okay so i'm just gonna screw in that second screw there Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is smoothly coming together. This is finally happening. I have literally been waiting like two years to do this. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> um, the reason that we just waited so long is because these were just so expensive. They still are. They've gone up even more. But um, I mean, this this one was a secondhand one from Facebook. And the, the, I mean, I was looking like probably every other day. I was looking all the time and just finally found one close enough and cheap enough. So that explains the whole waiting two years to do this kind of thing. Um, okay, now we do the plants. <laughs> one sec, I just need to um, film the little clip for my shorts video. I'm just gonna gather all my plants and start filling the cabinet. Um, okay, let's do this.
day I'm all done here is the finished result I am really happy with this obviously it's still um quite oh my gosh it's doing the weird light thing it's still quite empty but and don't worry I'll soon change that <laughs> but I will give you a brief little tour first of all the top shelf with a few little baby plants. I'm gonna see how they got on close, so close to this light. Um, this is only like 25 watts, I think. I'll have to double check, but I think this is gonna be good. These are all variegated plants and they all appreciate pretty high light anyway. So I'm gonna see how they get on. Okay, so I've got my silver sword in here. Um, she definitely needs to be repotted and I'll repot this one in with her as well. Make a one full plant. Behind that, got my squammy ferrum, my Brazil, um, for the dendron Florida ghost, and my silver blush, my anthurium, and then my begonia maculata. See how she does. See if she does any better. Hopefully, she will do. I think she definitely will. Oh my gosh. Can you hear that thunder? Is it thundering? Yeah, hopefully with the high humidity, my begonia will do a little bit better. And then I've also just got my hydro no, hygrometer in here as well. So, um, yeah, it has been up a degree. So, 28 degrees, 55% humidity. Actually, that's gone down. Oh, speaking of humidity, so I know that you can get, like, the weather stripping. Because, um, obviously, when you close... The doors there's actually quite a bit of a gap in the middle so it's letting all that humidity out um so i am just gonna give it a few days see what the humidity is looking like and if i need to get the weather stripping then i will and i'll just put it around um the doors here to conceal the humidity not to let any out but um yeah like i said i'll just give it a few days and and see if the humidity um, drops or gets higher. Okay, now onto the second shelf. This is a little bit crazy because most of these plants are like very forward facing. They're kind of sprawl sprawled out everywhere. So it's really hard to place them and arrange them. So that I'm using, you know, the space that I've got, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, but anyway, here obviously I've got my Monstera Albo. It's newest leaf, it's pretty, well, it's nearly hardened off. It's beautiful. Behind that, in the tray, I've got my Gloriosum. Um, and next to my Monstera, I've got my Cupria, my Alocasia. Can't wait to see this new leaf. Look at that purple, it's absolutely beautiful. And then my other new plant, my Dragon Scale, my Silver Dragon Scale. So hopefully she'll like it in here. Um, and then up here, I've just got my Hoya Pubicalix. Oh. Oh yeah, Pippa Kalex Super, super, super Splash. Um, I've actually got a whole other, a whole new vine just starting to appear here, so that's really exciting. She is very close to the grow light, but I mean, she appreciates a lot of light, but I'm just going to see how she gets on with that. If I notice any changes, then I will move her lower. Um, in the next one, I've got my Anthurium Crystallinum and, oh my goodness, Bersay Aff. My little Anthurium seedling. She's still in sphagnum moss, so I really need to uh, do something with her. Anyway, and then here, this is literally my favourite bit. My Hoya Eskimo, my Croniana. Oh my word, she's just absolutely looking gorgeous. She's definitely become one of my favourite plants. Anyway, this is not a favourite plants video, so. But she's just like, I love how she's trailing down. I That is exactly what I wanted. So, yeah, really loving that. Okay, and then the final shelf. Oh my gosh, I just need to the final shelf, again, looking really weird. It's had a little bit of trouble rearranging these plants again because they're just sprawled out everywhere. Um, but, I mean, this one is going on a moss pole, my old Choco Red. So that will increase the space because she'll be more upright. So, yeah. I don't know where I was going with this. Anyway, I've lost my train of thought. Yeah, and then here I've got my little... What is this? Anthurium. Oh my gosh, I've com completely fallen. Oh, Warroquianum. Yeah, and oh my goodness, I ripped it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah, I ripped it closing the door, so that's not great. Um. Anyway, behind that, I've got my Philodendron Varicosum. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then here, also, my Melanochrysum. So, I can finally... Oh my goodness. 
so I can finally start working on her. I'm going to put her on a nice proper moss pole and I'm going to really start working on her now that she's got um good height uh good humidity she'll start to look absolutely beautiful i hope i really hope um but yeah we'll see and then finally my majestic my philodendron majestic one of my all-time favorite plants oh look at that sheen okay and that is it this might very well be my my new favorite filming spot i oh my goodness i'm really really happy i cannot believe this is finally one second I cannot believe that this has finally happened. I finally got a cabinet and um, I really can't wait to see, watch my plants just thrive in there. Um, so yes, I'm very happy. Like I, like I said, I probably will get that smart plug tonight so I can start using the second grow light because I really need that. Um, and, and I'll see about the weather stripping. Other than that, we're done. And um, yeah, I obviously don't have any more other other tips oh i actually you know what i didn't do i didn't do that nail varnish on the hole that we drilled so i will definitely do that in a few days i really do hope that you enjoyed watching this as much as i enjoyed making it and doing it if you have any questions please feel free to comment i will do my best to answer any and if you did enjoy this video please give us a like and subscribe and i hope you all have a good week and i will see you in my next video bye Oh my goodness, I have to clear up all this mess. Okay. That's for like another day. Okay.